One of the highlights in our family learning programme is Santa's visit before Christmas. And I really wanted to make this year no different. Uh, the children really look forward to his visit and they get so excited and often for all of us adults that are involved in the programme it's our highlight too because of the amazing songs and stories that the children share with Santa when he visits. So when I was planning today's event I started thinking about how can we do this? How can we create a Santa visit that doesn't need to be rationed? that every child that has ever come to the family learning can meet Santa, as they usually do. And I was also thinking about how to make it safe in terms of COVID, which of course has affected our, our programme and, and start stopped it over the last two years. And really with that in mind, I really wanted to make today something extra special for the children. Um, and I think really today, having seen what's happened, that I, I'm reflecting that it has come to pass so sometimes challenges bring silver linings. And for me today, there has been the silver lining of bringing this to an outdoor event um, and meaning that, that for the children, it's more in their community space. It's actually on their own, their own comfort area, their own, um, it's within their own community. Santa came and visited where they live, outdoors, and it meant that there was freedom to run and play and also we were able to incorporate many other elements into today's visit. So we had mulled apple juice that was cooked outdoors over a fire. We had oranges that we put, um, the children worked on putting cloves in and we brewed it up and it was warm in paper cups for each of the children. Um, but also we had the fire as well then. So again, maybe the, the, the outside, actually, the outdoor event brought, not, not it didn't limit the, the visit today, it actually enhanced it. We were able to bring something new to it that gave us greater freedom, allowed us to be more creative, more innovative, and I think that really has brought something better. So we had mince pies as well, we had oranges, apples, fruit, like the children would have in, in the family learning sessions that they're used to. Um, and we've also received some funding from Healthy Ireland towards this, which has really been uh, wonderful in supporting this. Um, but again, it just sits with this community and, and brought back happy memories for those of us that, that, that were involved in, in, in that, that um, part of today's event. Each child receives a present from Santa. That's the way we have always delivered the Santa visit. Every time he comes to our family learning programme, he has big sacks for all of the children that live in Cashel that are from the travelling community. So every child receives a wrapped present to bring with them away from, from his visit. Uh, and of course, they get an opportunity to sit and talk to him about what their wishes are for Christmas. So Santa arrived today uh, on a horse, on the back of a horse, um, which made it extra special for the children here, for the traveller children, to see Santa arrive in such a culturally appropriate way. Um, made it so unique for them, it, it just fits for them that that's how he would arrive. Uh, and it just gave it that extra sparkle that we're all looking for at this time of year.